Hello friends, welcome. And now in this video, I want to fix this authentication. So three failed attempt will lock the user for five minutes. And also I want to create a routes and controllers. So we need to create the controllers to create the routes for all the user management, uh, employee management, and so on. So first let's work with the authentication three failed attempt will log the user for five minutes right now here we are if i uh, just let's say john doe type something here and say login okay one two three four five and now if i hit yeah this is the default one five attempts and uh one minute we need to change that based on the description here, which is three failed attempt will log the user for five minutes. So let's open the VS code and we need to open the authentication, authenticated session controller. This is for the login. And let's go to the login request. Okay. And here we have if the alt attempt this only the email and the password. And here we have the rate limiter. Hit this throttle key. And also here we can specify the seconds. By default is one minute, but we need five, 300 seconds like this. And also we need to change the default at the uh, max attempts which is five in our case it's going to be three okay so the first one is the add on the rate limiter hit here the, the number of the seconds we need and then on the rate limiter too many attempts we change the max attempts here okay let's save that and let's open and try now so if i try one two, three, now if I try again, it's going to say too many login attempts and please try again in five minutes. Okay, now let's create the controllers and we need the controllers for the user, then for the employee, so for the system management we have country, state, city and department, employee and the user. Let's open the terminal and I'm going to say artisan make controller and instead of admin, I'm going to say user user controller and also this is going to be dash dash resource because we are going to have the resource for that. Good, then it's going to be for the employees. So employee controller then is going to be for the country so country country controller resource then is going to be the state and state also the city and the last one is going to be the department so let's say here department controller is going to be resource okay now let's open the vs code close everything and let's open the web routes and register the routes so here we have the route in the web out to get the admin and instead of something like this i'm going to say just get here and we added the middleware also i'm going to add the prefix here to be slash admin and let's give it also the name to be admin dot good now let's register the route the route and now is going to be the route resource for the users and we are going to use the user controller Okay, then route 
resource for the employees and here we're going to use the employee controller class let's copy and paste this now here we have the employees then we're going to have the countries and use country controller after the country we're going to have the states and use the state controller then we're going to have the cities and use the city controller and the last one is the department and use the department controller like this save close and now let's open the admin layout inside the we need to open the sidebar sorry let's open the sidebar dot view and here we have the links instead of analytics here what we are going to add is user management so just say user management okay and now let's navigate let's log in john doe add the password let's go to the admin like this or now and yeah now we have user management here is going to be just users for for now so we have this thing here and let's say users also we need the dashboard because yeah here we have on sidebar it's going to be the dashboards where we navigate to the admin okay so let's add that and just let me add this and I'm going to paste it after the nav so right here and this is going to be the shrev to the slash admin like this now if i save and yeah here we have the dashboard then we have user management and on the user management we are going to say here not performance but it's going to be users then down there is going to be the employee management and then the system management so employee employee management and on the employee management is we are going to have only the employees let's close this also this one and the remove and the last one is going to be the system management system like this on the system management we're going to have the uh, countries then we're going to have the states and let's copy this paste here and let's say cities and last one is going to be departments like this save and let's see now we have the dashboard user management we have users employee management we have employees then we have countries states cities and departments and let's see okay so the user management is going to be for create update and delete users 
then employee management is going to be the list of employees. Okay, so here we are going to ha have, when we click, it's going to have the table. And then we have the country, state, city, and department. So country, state, city, and department. Good. Now let's pass the routes for all of them. And also let's add the diff the user's uh, SVG. So I'm going to search for the hero icons. Go to the heroicons.com and search for users here. And I'm going to copy this SVG and paste it here. So when we have users, And we need to add the width 5 and height 5. So just paste that here. Save and change instead of 6. We need to say 5 here and also 5 here. And if I save and come here and uh, see now. Yeah, here we have the users. Good. Now let's, here we are going to use the link from the split and here is going to be slash admin slash users like this and let's save and let's see here now if I click yeah we navigate the admin users and let's do the same for the others now for the employees I'm going to add the Let's go here and I'm going to add the user plus. So copy this SVG and navigate down. Here is the employees. I'm going to paste that in, save, change the width to B5 and also the 85. And also here we are going to use the a link and the strap is going to go to the admin slash employees like this now for the countries let's go and I'm going to use the flag for the countries also we need to add our link here a link component and this rep is going to be slash admin slash countries svg pass this one let's save and we need to change the width and the height to be five then we have the state for the state i'm going to use let's use this one now you can use what you like but for me i'm going to use that so let's go here first let's use the link component and then navigate at the slash admin slash states and paste this as an svg also we need to change here the width and the height and the last one i'm going to copy this for the cities so also here we need to use link which is going to be slash admin slash cities and the svg paste that in hit save change the width five and it's the five and the last one which is now the department what we can choose for the department i'm going to choose this one and paste it here let's save add five width and five height and also use the link 
component and say slash admin slash departments like this and it's save go and see now yeah states cities and departments if i click we navigate to the admin countries states and so on okay friends so that's it about this video i hope you enjoy and see you in the next one all the best